Well, I'm, my name's Troy Seaworth. Uh, we farm here in Wellington, Colorado. We also have some farms out in western Nebraska. Um, here in, in Colorado, our crops are mainly sugar beets, corn, uh, dry beans, a little bit of hay. All of our tractors are equipped with uh, the Trimble Autopilot um, FMX display uh, with RTK correction, which is the sub-inch correction. Um, we, need, we, we really need that. We run strip-till equipment. We strip-till probably 90% of our acres now, um, and we strip-till eight rows, and we plant 12, and we plant 16. So without RTK, we're not, clo we don't, we're not really close enough to be able to run eight rows and then plant 16, or to run eight and then plant 12. So you gotta be really, really precise in order to make that work. So that's one reason that we've got the RTK and the Trimble Autopilot and all the tractors so everything can talk to each other. The lines are all the same and so they know where they're at and we don't have to go in there and drive a line to make a new line. So um, we're also using on, on this tractor right now, we're using the Field IQ. Um, this will be the first year for the Field IQ with the True Count clutches on our planter. Um, we're looking, I'm looking forward to that because um, we plant in circle on some of our pivots. We plant them in circles because we cut silage. And so in the center of that circle, we need to be able to shut those rows off individually as we get to the edge of that field where our curve stops and our straight rows start. Um, we get a lot of overlap there if we don't use that. And with the field IQ and the true count clutches, um, that's, that should eliminate the overlap and be a lot more efficient. Um, the, uh, the field IQ right now we're also using, we're putting down uh, fertilizer with the strip tiller. And so um, we've got um, a, a Ross and Drive hooked to a John Blue pump the, run, the Trimble runs the whole unit. Um, we can run it off of a map, off of a yield map or a soils map, whatever we want to run it off of. Um, and it, we can variable rate with it. Or with the field IQ, as we get to the end of the field, it'll also shut off individual shanks because we're shanking it in about eight inches deep right now. It'll shut them off as we get to the edge of the field. So we won't have any overlap there either or we're not fertilizing where we're not planting. Um, up until about 10 years ago when I came back, everything was moldboard plowed. Um, it, was, it was a minimal of five operations. You moldboard plow it, you mulch it twice, you level it, and then you triple K it, and then maybe work it one more time before you plant it, just depending on the seedbed preparation. Um, now we're at a one, maybe two pass system. And what's allowed us to do that is the GPS, is the Trimble, because we, we, we go right back to the same spot. I mean, it's a one pass with a strip tiller. Um, we might have to do maybe a light disking before we strip till, just depending on what we did the year before, if it's picking corn or silage corn, uh, something like that. But so we've cut our fuel basically in half, our fuel consumption. And the big thing you, that you don't want to forget is time. We've cut our hours on the tractor. I mean, an hour to run a tractor like we're running on the strip tiller is probably 60 to $80 an hour. And we're cutting our hours in half. And so that adds up a lot, you know, over a year or two. Because um, right now we're covering probably we're probably covering close to 2,000 acres here right now. And so that adds up really fast when you get to that point.